Hey buddy, it's Matthew Rathman. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you do have a minute, go ahead and hit the like button for this video if you think it helped in your workflow. And also don't forget to subscribe as those two things help me out a whole lot. In this video, we are gonna be covering how to use Canva tools like Magic Grab and Magic Erase to remove items and photos that we no longer want and maybe even some people in photos we no longer want. So let's just jump right in there. All right, so I've created a Canva in Canvas. I, in this case, I've just selected the Instagram uh, graphic size and I've moved a picture over to that Canvas. Now, I am in the glow up version as they call it. This is the next version of Canva. It's about June 22nd of 2024 that I'm recording this. Not everybody has had to roll out of the new layout. So if you click on a photo and you get this toolbar up here, you're in the newer version. If not, you'll click on edit at the top. And then when you do, you're gonna get on the left hand side instead of the right the list of tools here um, if you're in the newer version your tools showed up on the right here and you can select them there i'm going to go ahead and click on magic erase and it's going to bring the photo full uh with full um area of my canva app here and i can zoom in by using this button here at the bottom and the more you zoom in to get the item in this case we're going to decide to remove the wine bottle and i'm going to click first on brush and so uh, the more uh, 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 specific you can be about the area you want something to remove from the better and so when i look at brush size moving this bar makes that tool the brush tool the diameter diameter of it larger or smaller so i want something that's fairly small here to be very specific about what i want and i'm just going to use the tool to color in the area now if you go outside the lines it's fine the ai will still pick it up they'll know what your primary object is and they're not going to mess it up too much so i have now selected the wine bottle i'm going to click on erase magic's going to do its work and that wine bottle is mostly gone. Now, anything uh, you use AI to remove or drag or edit or grab or whatever the phrase is that you're, or whatever the tool is you're using, um, it's gonna leave very often some ghost part of that tool. In this case, it's still, it filled in the background and made up the wicker basket in the back. So I think this is great. Plus, you know, this photo is not gonna be looked at that, zoomed in that much, it'll be further back. So that is one way to use Magic Erase is with the brush. The other tool you see here is click. So if I'm gonna use click, what happens first is that magic goes and reads your picture and then you can see all these little things get highlighted. These are items that you can simply click on and go, let's remove it instead of coloring it in. Not everything in the photo will be. Some photos are flat in the background. Some of your photos are older and perhaps scanned or did not have a good depth of field in the photo. So again, the higher quality the photo, the more precise these tools are and the more um, effective they are. So so I'm going to go ahead and just choose that apple there and go, I don't really want wine or apple with my basket. I don't know why you would other than this is what we're doing. And then I'm going to click erase and it's going to go ahead and take just a second, work its magic and the apple is gone. So we're going to go ahead and zoom back out to our graphic, make it fill out the photo here and we're good. No more wine, no more apple. Just a nice glow basket in the background, which really does make some more warmth there, I think. Uh, maybe, I don't know why you would want to remove those items, but if you did, that's how you would do it. All right, cool. So we're going to go now to how we move or replace people in a photo. All right, so again, select a photo out of the elements area. Uh, this is a couple with their dog and you see people a lot of times, you know, hey, can anybody remove this person? They're no longer in my life or this item. It's it's uh, whatever. Um, we're going to try to remove the the female in this photo. And so we're going to choose the photo again. And again, the tool uh, pops up at the top. I'm going to click on see all and I'm going to go back over here to magic grab. We're going to start there first. When I click on magic grab, it does just what the click version of magic erase did. But in this case, it highlights a bunch of stuff and I'm going to choose the tree here. Let's say I don't want the tree first. We'll get to the, the young lady in just a minute. We're going to get the tree and then grab it. And what's happening is the AI model is now, it told you what you could grab and now it's gonna go actually out and grab that item. It's gonna do the work in the background to select it. All right, now 
it's selected at, I can, you can see it's selected in the screen and I can move it about. Now it manufactured a new plant behind this, this tree here. And so I can just move this over to maybe give it a little bit more greenery on the side. And I'm going to be car careful of her foot there. We'll say her foot or whatever that was, was tapped around and I can move it here and now save that photo. And I was able to move an item to make it more align, or in this case, just to show you that it could work. Uh, and I can go back at any time that I'm editing and move this even more. So let's say I wanted down here even more to, uh, for some reason I could, that's it. That's magic. Um, grab. Now let's go back here and go the same thing. We're going to choose a photo. We're going to choose the menu and then we're going to go to see all. And I've got again, magic erase or magic grab. And I'm going to go in this case to magic grab again. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to read what's left of the photo now because I've already moved the plant. It's going to go ahead and select the elements here that I can change. And it did in fact, uh, select this young lady. So I'm going to click on her and I'm going to click on grab. All right. Now it selected her in the photo. So I'm going to now be able to move her anywhere I want, including just, you know, we could just delete it. And now we got a weird shaped dog head and then we have this random hand there. Now the dog head, again, you may have to do this a few times to get exactly what you want or be more precise, or it's just going to be flunky looking. I mean, you are using artificial intelligence to rebuild and restructure a photo. So uh, Rover looks like he, his forehead um, is shaved a little bit, but that's what we get for, for, you know, removing people from our lives. Anyways, I'm sure she's a perfectly lovely girl. I'm going to go to magic erase this time. So I went to magic grab last time. I'm going to go to magic erase and I could have done this with the person or with the dog as well. But in this case, I wanted to try the magic grab tool. I'm going to go to now magic erase and I can go to click again and it's going to show me what can be uh, removed. Now, what I'm trying to get rid of is the hand, the random hand that's down on the shoulder. Notice that the magic grab, the or magic erase click option did not select that. It wasn't a primary part of the photo. So that means I need to go over here to brush. I'm going to. This is probably the right diameter for this brush. So I'm just going to highlight her hand here and then I'm going to click on face. And her hand is mostly erased. You can see there's a little bit left there. So I might want to zoom in again, narrow down my brush size a little bit more because I just want that little pinky gone and hit erase again. And now her hand is gone. His face is a little messed up here, but uh, again, it's imperfect. I mean, I haven't seen too many people unless they are very uh, professional Photoshop editors who are really good at removing people from the photos without any ghosting or any remainder of the image or any uh, made uh, anything weird in the image. Canva is incredibly good. They're just not quite at the point of perfecting, restructuring, or making up content that isn't there. So this is probably as good as we're going to get uh, as the boy and his dog here uh, are hanging out in front of the camera now without, without his girlfriend, which, you know, that's just how it goes in life sometimes. Anyways, uh, that's it. Those are the techniques. Again, you're going to, you tweak this a little bit. You're going to be choosing different parts of it and uh, until you get it close to what you want and I think this is probably as good as we're going to get with this photo. So thanks for watching.